Here we go. Good morning. Good morning, Macla Conception. I'd like to welcome everyone back on this uh, Friday, May 1st, TGIF. Yes, thank God it's Friday. Even though sometimes during the week, we looks like every day is kind of one the same. Today is actually a Friday, the start of the weekend. And we got a couple things. It's a new month, and it is still catch up and must do day. Catch up and must do. So you won't get any new assignments, but you should catch up and must do whatever you need to catch back up on. So that's uh, a little thing we've got going on today. Um, as we like to say, hopefully I wish I could tell you the sports news of softball games and baseball, but unfortunately not. So instead, we're going to go to Mrs. Bona with all the important announcements of the day and our special guest. Yeah. Thanks, Mr. Coulard. It is great to be here this morning on May 1st. This, this is one of my favorite days at school because the little kids usually make these little cute little May baskets and they take them around and hang them on the doorknobs. So if you're looking for a little craft thing to do at home, folks, I think that that might be a way to just check it out on YouTube and see how to do something like that and have a little fun with it at your own house by staying safe. And for those of you that are looking at the screen right now, you might be thinking, boy, the teachers just keep getting younger at Immaculate Conception. And that would be because you were looking at this lovely young woman who was with us this morning. But this is actually one of our eighth grade students, Zion. And Zion, what we're going to start doing for the next couple of weeks here is featuring our eighth graders, our outgoing graduating eighth graders who are at home. And of course, we wish we were all in the, in the school at Immaculate Conception. But so we're making the best of all of these situations. And we decided to first to start our featured, our featured eighth grader is Zion. And Zion, Mr. Coulard and I are gonna ask you a couple questions. And it's a little bit like an interview, but we know that you're a natural. Zion is um, frequently affectionately called Z. Uh, so that's another little fun thing about her. But Zion, you have actually been with us for how many years? Nine years since kindergarten. Yes, and I do remember when you arrived in kindergarten, and you didn't come right at the beginning of the year because you were moving uh, from another state. And um, Zion was telling us earlier a little bit of a memory that she had. Can you, can you talk about your first day there, Zion? Okay, when I first got to kindergarten and I walked into the classroom, everyone came over to me to say hi and tell me their name. And I made a lot of friends that day. Um, I'm imagining some of those friends that you still have with you today, huh? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Go ahead. You were going to say something else? I was going to say Anaya and Lauren. They're still my friends today. Yes, yes. And so that's a great memory, isn't it? Yes. All right, super. L let's get to the most important question. Who is your favorite gym teacher? Um, well, let me think of all of them. <laughs> oh. I only have one, Mr. Coulard. <laughs> Thanks, good answer. <laughs> also, who's your, who's your worst gym teacher? Um, how many do I have? Well, I only have one, Mr. Coulard. <laughs> good call, man, you are sharp on these answers. <laughs> she is a really sharp young woman and she's doing exceptionally well with her grades, always has, and I know will continue. So after graduation, Zion, where will you be heading for school? I'm going to be going to Tatino Grace. Okay. Awesome. That's any, any activity you plan doing there or extracurricular? Um, I think I might do sewing because I have like this um, class where they do artsy stuff. I wouldn't know how to explain it exactly. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Could be arts class or some kind of family consumer science class where they, they teach those yeah, skills. Sort of like that. Okay. I know but, they have swimming there too. Oh, I'm probably going to do swimming too. Yes. Yeah. In fact, um, I know that people can't necessarily read this, but this is one of the things that we take off the, I took off the school wall when we were um, starting our closing of the school in mid March. And, um, 
this thing is something that the kids write up during Catholic Schools Week, and it says, I keep joy in my heart, because remember that theme is all about joy this year. And um, the students write their thoughts about how they keep joy in their heart. And I have Zion's paper in front of me here. And she does mention swimming. So that's, mm -hmm. a great, that's a great thing to be thinking about and sewing. So maybe those are things that you can continue to grow in your talent as you, read, as you continue in high school. There's another thing in here, Zion, um, about getting good grades. Can you say a little bit about why that's important and brings you joy? I like getting good grades because when I get good grades, my mom's happy. And when my mom's happy, I'm just generally <laughs> happy. That's good. Making your parents proud and joyful um, is really important. It's, but you know that it's good for you as well, right? Yes. Um, Zion, I was going to ask you, what is your, was there any favorite event that you like at Immaculate since you've been here? Any activity or event? Mardi Gras. I love Mardi Gras. Mm -hmm. And Catholic Schools Week, no. Catholic Schools Week is my favorite. We have a ton of fun with that. I actually have some fun pictures of you um, eighth graders at the dance during Catholic Schools Week that I'll make sure Mrs. Blake has those for the memory book, okay? okay. Lots, lots of good memories. Um, I, I just think that uh, we have... We, we wanted to recognize our eighth graders and Zion really has a lot of personality and a lot of, uh, she has brought us joy at Immaculate for her nine years. And we wanna make sure that, that we recognize each one of our special eighth graders. Um, Zion, yeah, I was Zion if she has anything she wants to say to her friends that are gonna watch this video. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I talk to them like pretty often, so. <laughs> Okay. So nothing new. Nothing new. Nothing new. Do you remember the prayer that you wrote uh, for Miss Tony Nato's class about the pandemic? Um, not really. I wrote it like um, two weeks ago or a week ago. Yeah, it might have been actually about three weeks ago or so. Did you, did you listen to the announcements the day that I read it out loud? I think I did. Okay, good answer. Well, I have read, I have prayed all of those prayers, and I'm going to read yours again today, Zion, okay? Okay. Dear Lord, in this time of desperation, can you help all of us seek peace in you, and may you forgive all of our sins. Bring the whole world together to praise you and stop this virus from being more destructive. You are the only one that can save us, Lord, in this crisis. God, I trust in you and give you everything. Amen. Amen. Beautif beautifully written, Zion. Thank you for that. You, that brings us joy as well. Thank you. <clears throat> You're welcome. Zion joined uh, Father James and I yesterday along with her mom to record a video about the Queen of May, which would have been being held tonight our biggest fundraiser and wonderful community event of the year. And um, we, we did that to just keep people informed and also to ask them as a consideration, would they consider making a donation to Immaculate at this time? So thanks to Zion and her mother, Keitha Gill, for joining us. Um, Mr. Coolard, any, or Zion, any closing thoughts or remarks? Well, I've got a couple here first. I got a question again. What more of a joke, but we'll try it. Okay. What goes up when the May rains come down? What goes up when the May rains come down? I have an idea. An umbrella. Oh, there you go. An umbrella, you know, put it up when the rains come down. I was um, going to say flowers. Oh, well, that's oh, yeah, that's that makes right. sense. Tulips, that would been a good a little, one. A little science knowledge here from there. You go. Mm -hmm. Now that I just I got one more because I like my jokes. Uh, what what creature is smarter than a talking parrot? Oh, Mr. Claude, I don't know. A spelling bee. Um, uh, anyways, um, just a quick thing if you haven't yet. Uh, gone to the teacher web pages. There is a whole section of books read by different teachers, uh, even a priest and a principal. So there's all kinds of them. And there's a new one up there, and it's something beautiful by Ms. Kuka. So if you haven't Aww. had some spare time,
go to the teacher web pages, especially you middle schoolers who probably don't always go there because you go to Google Classroom. Uh, check it out. There's all kinds of activities there. Also, there's Super Joy with a, a special thing that the middle schoolers might want to check out, especially the eighth graders today. Oh, Zion, does that pique your interest? Yes, Mr. Coolard. Where is Super Joy today? Well, you'll just have to wait and see when you go there. Go to the teacher web pages and then look under Adventures of Super Joy. Awesome. Okay. Good All idea. Right. Yeah, that web, the whole teacher web page is just a, a great resource of fun things and the things we need to know. So, yeah, we want to bring our uh, middle schoolers not only to the Google Classroom every day, but also to enjoy some of those things too. Don't forget there's a feature that says, ask Father James a question, or if you need any technology assistance, that's ask Mrs. Blake. So lots of great things. I was just, I was just on Mrs. or Ms. Bridgman, Ms. B's, and she, it was just fun watching her kindergarten or preschool class. It was very enjoyable. So yeah. it was a great, great trip to uh, France with Is all it? kinds of, of things that are very impressive. So if you get a chance, that's worthwhile looking at. Yes, that's who we were with yesterday. And um, all of these morning announcements and Father's Daily Messages are on the web page as well as the mass from yesterday too. So lots of great things. One of the things we talk about in May is that we are going to shift our prayer to the Memorari, which most of our students have memorized over the years. However, I'll share my screen with that when we get to the prayer. Mr. Coulard, yeah. looks like he's going to say something else, though. Well, I have two more, two birthdays I want to get to this weekend. Uh, Nothing yeah. today on May 1st, but on May 2nd, in first, well, they're both first grade birthdays. So on May 2nd mm. is a meal. Emil Shmadi, oh. I'd like to wish him a happy hey, birthday. Emil, happy birthday. And on Sunday, Miley, Miley Pina, as I always like to call her, she's going to get mad at this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Smiley Miley. Oh, how can you get mad at that? That's awesome. She is smiley. Smiley's birthday is on Sunday. So those are two things I've got. Um, I'm ready for the prayer if you are, Mrs. Bona. Sure. Should we do the pledge first? Oh, that's right. Thank you. Always sharper than me. I like, we got a pledge, so we put our hands on our hearts and the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Mr. Coulard. Now I'll share my screen and we will pray the Memorari. In the name of the Father, Father the Son, Son, and Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Remember, O oh most gracious Virgin Mary, that, that never, never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought, or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To thee do I come before the I stand. Sinful, sinful and sorrowful. O oh, Mother, Mother of the Word incarnate, God, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy, hear and answer me. Amen. amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. amen. Very good. Thank you. Well, remember catch up and must do day. So it's a day to check in with your teachers, ask questions, finish assignments that are missing. Um, a lot of the teachers just have like a, an office hour today where they're answering questions. Um, they, you might have to sit in their little waiting room for a while, but never fear, they're going to let you in. Uh, so this is a great day to, to take care of business. All right, All right. everyone. Let's say goodbye and Ragsy, go, go Raiders! Raiders.